Welcome back to the Red Carpet Show. I'm Gemma. That's Mike. We're here to talk about baseball player fashion, and we're just going to dive right in because basically every second of my life in which I'm not talking about baseball player fashion is a waste of my time. <laughs> Do you agree? Yeah, 100%. <laughs> now on the Cleveland Indians, Franmil Reyes. Oh, this man. photo. This photo, I... This... I feel like he knew that he was going to be on our show because I don't know why else this is the photo that you are taking of yourself. Uh, It is, it is, this is a fashion week shoot, basically. That's what he's doing here. Look how far that shirt is unbuttoned. This is a look. I love the windowpane suit. It's kind of... uh is subtle you know it's it you know some window paint suits are, are very bold but this one has you know very very subtle lines in the suit which just gives it a little bit of like texture uh to it other than just a black suit or a gray suit he's smoldering into yeah. the camera is what i would say is that he is just straight up smoldering right into the lens he's doing it very well to me this look is about the accessories because mm-hmm. uh, i agree with you that the suit is subtle the shirt might as well not be there. Yeah. Um, but the fact that it is unbuttoned gives it the sense that, like, I see. That it's highlighting. What I what I mentioned a couple weeks ago on the show is that, um, or maybe last week, I don't remember, uh, that if you do a little bit of the unbuttons, it does help to have a little bit of jewelry to draw some angularity to that eye line. Um, and that's just what he's doing. Like, if I was going to say, well, what is the garment here? It is the chain. It is the bracelet, the Cuban link bracelet. It is the ring. Like, we are emphasizing the accessories, which is awesome because a lot of times men can be a little bit afraid of accessories. And this is just boosting them all the way. That's what I like to see. And that ring is just, that thing, that thing is like shining. That thing's shining out of the photo. <laughs> so, Well, if you had to give this one emoji, what would it be? I'm going a glass of red wine. Oh, oh yes, I this, feel that. This is, this is the start of like a seduction. Uh-huh. Red wine. All right. What red are you wine. doing? I'm going to go for a fan. A like fan. A, like a fan. Oh, okay. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Anyway, moving on, we're going to go right to Pedro Strope, who I think is actually almost daily killing it, yeah. to be to be true and to be honest about that. Uh, we're going to check out this look where he's just walking casually into the road. <laughs> <laughs> Well, what's great, so on this Instagram post, he has two photos of himself and a video where he's walking. You have to see the clothes in motion. That's yeah. how you know. Well, it's because it's just great because he's walking mm-hmm. out of the clubhouse. It's like he told his teammate or his friend, like, hey, I have a really good look today. I'm going to runway it right now. you got to film this. That's and great. Did. I wish I had a friend that good. I never have a look <laughs> this good, but if I did, I would make somebody film it. Uh, he's really going. He's really going in a lot of different directions here, but there is a unifying factor which mm-hmm. I really appreciate. So he's got the sweater with the stripes, the red stripes, red belt, calling back that to that. And there's even a stripe on the side of yes. his very, very skinny jeans. He's got that red stripe going down to the ankle tight jean. Um, his whole this whole look to me is all about the line, the straight line, which he's he's just drawing attention to it, his own body line shape and skinniness, which is really working here. Then he's got this chain on cha- like it's a three. It's only it looks like a three part chain. It might be just three different chains of different lengths, but the way it plays is they're connected. And you know when when you talk about like art, there's like points, and your eye follows like lines and then stops on like a point and that's basically what these medallions are doing is you're following mm-hmm. lines stopping following lines stop so like the whole thing is just leading your eye to different parts and like it's almost like a work of art that he's made of yeah. his outfit and i well that's what fashion it. is and should be at its best i think yeah and he's really doing it um brief note the shoes uh j- mm, velour velvet <laughs> shoes uh, the uh, yeah yes yes if yeah. you had to give this look an emoji, what would you give it? Uh, this is fresh as heck, so I am going a salad. Oh, yeah, wow. Yeah, salad's colorful, oh. and, like, the salad emoji has little points for, like, you know, the tomato and all that, so to me, I really like that. So, yeah, go really salad. Like what are you doing? Um, I'm going to go a little walking man, and I'm going to add a second emoji Ooh. of the music notes, because I feel like this is, there is some video, I feel like it could be the opening shot to a very cool music video, so that's, that's the right. vibe. That's the vibe I like I it. I dig it. All right, so our last look today is a bit of a novelty look. The Brewers went on a themed road trip, and the theme was Miami. Bet, bet you can't guess where they went. Uh, but... Tulsa? <laughs> Yeah, Tulsa, <laughs> a place that a Major League Baseball team would go. So, Killer diners there, I bet. Uh, so we're going to look at Ben Gamble and Tyler Austin here in the tunnel in their Miami-themed outfits. Ben Gamble, 
super jacked, super long hair. Mm -hmm. Um, definitely not from Miami. Right. Made a choice to wear these this matching halfway unbuttoned shirt and shorts um, that are extremely baggy. Yeah. Now, I'm not asking you if you like this outfit. Mm -hmm. That is not the question. Okay. The question is, is it on theme? Well, the shirt does have flamingos. Mm -hmm. um, I mean, I think that whenever you are dressing for a theme, you have to go over the top. Yes. You have to, you have to, you cannot say, this is, I, this is what, I'm from Miami and this is what people wear and you just wear jeans and a black t-shirt. Mm -hmm. Like, okay, that's not the point. There is an essence, right? Like, obviously nobody did that. So I feel like his only cry here was going too hard, honestly. Now, the matching and matching is the thing that I somewhat disagree with. I think his choice of print was really good. Um, I think that if he had done this shirt with a different bottom or the shorts with a different top, or honestly, like, just maybe no top. <laughs> but I do think that he managed to capture some of the essence successfully. And therefore, this is, to me, somewhat of a success. I wish it was more fitted, honestly. If you're going to do the theme, work a little harder. Well, how did Tyler Austin do to you? I don't even know what that means. Does it say goats? Does it say gnats? Are there a lot of? He, it looks like it looks like pajamas. That to me, that's not the theme at all. So yeah, compared compared in this photo, it's like oh Ben Gamel, Mr. Miami over here. It's the head of Miami's Chamber of Commerce. Uh, yeah, I mean he's definitely dressing for a theme. I don't necessarily know what it is. Yeah. But uh, you know, here's what I'm gonna say is clearly this is something that's out of these guys' comfort zone, mm -hmm. and they really went for it, which to me is key and crucial and also much like cooking with fashion you have to take some risks and sometimes they're gonna work and sometimes they're not but either way you're gonna learn something so i'm supportive i think oh. these are both great um in their own ways in their own categories uh now if you had to give these an emoji what would you give them uh i'm giving this one uh a fish okay i'm giving this one a fish emoji because it is Miami. I do have the sense that they're going to hang out by the water. And obviously, you know, if you're wearing an outfit like that and you're on a beach, all of a sudden you're like, oh, it's the beach. Like, I'm going to give this <laughs> a, I'm going to give this a parrot with a question mark. I'm going to put a question mark in there because like a that. parrot flying around Miami is like, mm, ah, okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. The parrot has the right vibes and is like, let me help you. Yeah. yeah. All right. I dig it. Parrot, it's like a, it's like a quest. The parrot flies down and is like, do you need help? And they're like, yes. And then he teaches Ben Gamble how to get a shirt tailored. <laughs> <laughs> uh, so if there's somebody you would like us to talk about, if you if we're missing someone that you know is always on point, let us know. Leave it in the comments. Tweet at us at Cup4. Just let us know who you want us to talk about next. It should be really fun. You know, we are here every Friday. So you'll see us every Friday chatting about... MLB fashion. Uh, you can like this video. You can subscribe to this channel. You can get notifications that we're going to be around all the time. And why wouldn't you want that? You know. You can like me in real life. You can like Gemma in real life. You don't life. have to like me in real life. But what you should do is if you see something that is cool and super fashionable, even on this show, and be like, hey, I actually know where Pedro Strope got that sweater. Please tell me. That's what I want. That's it. All I want from you is to tell me that. Yeah? I, I went searching for it. I do we have an agreement? Viewers, we do? Okay. I mean, silence is a sound in this case. You're going to tell me where the sweater came from. I'm really, I really, I'm glad. I really respect that. And it's, it's meaningful to me that you would share that. So.